Hello, welcome back to my channel. So here it is, time for the collaboration. So um, this is week two, and we are going to be working on the signatures. So just a quick reminder of um, the, the different creators. We've got two every day, Sunday through Wednesday. All right, and if you need to take a screenshot of that, feel free so you can maybe keep track a little bit. But I also do in the description box have um, everyone's schedule. So that might be uh, the better way to uh, track it. But just in case you want to do that. Um, so yeah, so this is our lovely schedule for the month. I'm so excited. Okay, and just to remind you again, um, how to get in on the drawing so you can win some fabulous prizes. So what you're going to need to do is, um, for each of the channels of the collaborators, all eight of us, you need to make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like each of the collaboration videos that we've posted, and comment on each video. And you need to do that week one through four. That way we can track who is participating. Um, and then if you want to get an extra point, um, at the very end, if you can post a picture of your or pictures of your finished journal, that would be fantastic with a hashtag a fairy spring collab 24. Do that by April 29th and uh, do that to the Facebook groups of uh, Crafty Dragon Creations or mine, the Cre uh, Creative Paper Artisan, and, and do that to our groups, not our pages. Um, all of that will be linked below as well. And um, if you could, please just support our Instagrams, Etsy's, Facebook pages, all, all of the social platforms that, that all of these creators may have. And uh, just kind of, just for the, the sake of kindness and maybe a little extra fairy dust uh, on, on your day <laughs> to kind of help us grow because we're trying to help uh, our smaller, smallish, medium-sized channels to grow. Okay? All right. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so it was really hard to, you know, choose all the, the papers for this uh, journal because there's so many. <laughs> but here are some from Stacy's kit that I decided to use. It was so hard to choose, but I had to make a decision. These are just lovely. And I think they go really nicely with, with my kit, which is why we love doing collaborations together because <laughs> we kind of think alike. And then these are a few from my kit that I decided to use. Um, I had found so many beautiful fairy images um, that I had a hard time choosing for my kit as well because <laughs> I liked all the images that I was able to procure. Uh, is that the right word? I don't know. But anyway, so I just uh, kind of did a little hodgepodge selection, some writing pages, some full, most of them are full, images um, that I probably won't do much to just because the, the images themselves are so pretty. And then um, I have all these different um, stained papers that I got from my friend Zoe. She does amazing colored papers and um, I think the coffee dyed I did a while ago but all these different bright colors are just beautiful. Uh, I thought that would be a perfect um, perfect way to use them in this spring spring uh, fairy journal so I'm not sure I'm going to use all of them yet uh, but I'm going to fold them in half and cut these down fold these in half and um, just kind of get things laid out a bit how I how I would like to do it and then um, then we'll kind of continue on with exploring <laughs> the best way to put this this these signatures together Alrighty, so I folded everything in half, cut everything down, um, and I kind of did a layout roughly of how I want to have things um, put together. I like to do, I like to usually alternate between, you know, coffee dyed or whatever, the you know, regular paper and then the digital papers. So I, I typically try to just kind of alternate them just to keep some interest. And honestly, with all these beautiful colors, uh, I, I had a hard time really trying to figure out <laughs> all, how to put all the colors together. So um, I may change my mind a little bit down the road, but this is basically, I think, how 
how I'm going to like it. So, and you know, we originally were talking about just doing one signature, uh, just for the sake of time, but <laughs> several of us collaborators decided there was way too much to work with. So I think several of us are actually doing multiple signatures. Um, but for the sake of time, we're not necessarily going to be showing every little bit for all of the signatures, um, but just enough to give you some good ideas. So, but I'm going to work on this as much as I uh, can without taking up too much of your time. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of um, make the signatures a little bit more interesting rather than just, you know, putting all the papers together, which there, there's nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> I mean, I think that could be uh, a, just a, a nice, plain, more of a plain journal. But, uh, you know, of course, I need to I need to add things. So we're going to do uh, the probably the biggest uh, change, I guess, to one of these pages is going to be a window. I want to put a window in with lace and I need to decide which picture I want to have showing through. Um, but I'm going to use this gorgeous wide lace. It's kind of a greenish tint to it, but I think I will put that aside for a minute and we're kind of work on the a little bit easier pieces <laughs> so um, the things that I can I can get done a little bit quicker and then at the end we'll uh, work on that window but I've just gotten all these like little scrappy pieces of lace that I just have not had a use for and I'm thinking these colors are just perfect for spring so I'm just gonna go through and t just kind of make make some decisions here <laughs> And there's just, ugh, the options really are, are unlimited, I think. And I think if I use a wider one like this, I can use, use it as like a tuck spot, maybe. Um, so I'm just going to, I don't know, play around a bit. And um, I'll, I'll speed up the video so that you don't have to see me deliberating every little thing. But I want to you know, give you some ideas as I come up with ideas. So we'll just speed it up for a minute and uh, just enjoy the music.
Okay, so now time to make my little lacy window. Um, I've decided I want to have it be on this page so that this beautiful purple fairy is showing through. So yeah, I think that'll be pretty. I'll add a little mystery there. So um, this is one of the reasons why I like to not bind my signatures until the very end so that I can do things like this <laughs> and just kind of take out the certain page so I can work with it better. So um, I'm just going to measure her. I'm not going to give you the measurements because obviously it'll change for whatever image you're going to, you know, be using for this. So just whatever, um, you know, makes the most sense to you. I'm going to give her uh, a big enough window so we can see her, her face and her torso basically. And then I will just, um, kind of eyeball <laughs> where I need to need to put this window. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my little self healing mat here so I don't ruin my table and I'm going to grab my little exacto exacto knife and just use my ruler to cut along the lines you could do this with scissors as well um, I just think it's a little bit more smooth looking when you do it with an exacto knife and a ruler uh, word to the wise if you can help it use a metal ruler not a wooden ruler because I tend every time I try a wooden ruler I always tend to like cut into the wood and then I have little slivers hanging off so that's just no that's just not fun so I I love my little metal ruler it also has cork on the back so it doesn't slide as easy either so I I use this ruler more than all of my other ones I think I have a really pretty one <laughs> that I I love to look at but um, and I might use it for like quick little measurements but this one really is the most useful and the most functional so word to the wise a metal ruler with a cork back is really a good friend to have on your crafting table <laughs> so got this cut out and that came out pretty well okay so now let me grab my uh my pencil with my eraser again and get these get these pencil marks off i don't want them showing um, I will be covering up one, you know, one side of the page and this may be the side. I don't know. We'll see. I just want to get those, <laughs> get those pencil marks off just in case, just in case they show through. Um, I haven't quite decided exactly how to do the, the frame around it, so to speak. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So I'm going to grab the lace now and figure out what parts of the lace I want to have. Um, yeah, I think something like that, because there's, there's, you know, the sections that have more of the roses showing, which are beautiful, but they are going to cover up the image a bit more. So I think I'm going to try to work it out so that the roses are still there, but there's a little bit more of visibility kind of something like that I think that will that will work pretty well so let me just trim this down and as I do this I want to also remind you uh, to please check out all the other collaborators this week that are working on their signatures there are eight of us total um, I will have the link to everybody's channels and and the uh, our link tree below so that you can easily find find what's going on and if you haven't gotten your kit yet your kits um, it's still time the both kits both my kit and Stacy's kit are 30% off through the end of the month so now's the time to get it if you know what I mean uh, if you want no pressure but uh, it would definitely help us as we come up with more collaborations and more fun things for you guys to create with uh, we also have freebies every week. All eight collaborators have uh, freebies that they are posting in their group 
every Sunday. So, and each freebie for the week is, uh, coordinates nicely with what we're, with what we're doing. Um, like today, uh, we will all be posting the, the freebies for, um, the signatures. So you can, you can definitely grab some of those, add those to your, your stash if you bought the kit. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can just play. I mean, you literally, if you get both kits and the freebies, you will have, I believe over a hundred pages <laughs> to work with. So you can make multiple kits or multiple journals, I should say. Um, so yeah, we, we like to be, uh, give you lots of options. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, please check everyone else out. We're all trying to grow and your support means so much to all of us. So let me see here. I think that's about, that's about where I want it. So I'm going to gently and tenderly get the glue down right on the edge. Um, I want to be careful not to get it too close because I don't want it necessarily oozing out, but, um, you know, enough, close enough so that it sticks without having too much of a gap in between. So, you know, that's always the, the fun part is getting, getting it, uh, so that it doesn't goop out, but you know what, if it goops out, it's not the end of the world. You can always usually fix it. So just want to make sure that it's going to, it's going to be where I need it to be. <laughs> that's yeah, that's where I want. That's where I want her. So let's make sure the lace doesn't cover up too much. Kind of have her face showing a little bit. I think that's, that's about right. That's about right. All right. So let me make sure that this is it gets glued down nice and tight and kind of stretch it out so it doesn't it doesn't you know have wrinkles and sags too much um, so kind of get it nice and tight I used Fabri-Tac because that's always a good option when you're dealing with fabric obviously but also I like to use it with just paper as well thinner paper because it doesn't wrinkle the paper so I think I'm going to use that um, lace as a as a frame kind of make a frame around it because I'm not crazy about the raw edges of the of the lace right here. So on the other side, I think we'll be just fine without a frame. But I feel like there needs to be a, a frame, so to speak. So I really like this lace. It's kind of a crocheted, a thicker crocheted lace. So I'm going to just uh, carefully put that around and create a little frame. Yo, I think I'm going to call that good. Pretty happy with how that turned out. So that's, that's the general gist of what I'm going to do for the signatures. Um, next week we will be working on embellishments and ephemera and, uh, decorating, decorating even more. I guess I, you know, you can call what I did today decorating as well, but you, you can never have too much decorating, right? <laughs> so I think, I think we're going to say these these three girls, <laughs> they are good for now. And like I said, we, uh, we had intended on each doing one signature, but here I am doing three, but I'm not alone. I think some of the other girls did the same thing, <laughs> which is totally fine. Uh, we're just wanting to keep it simple and, uh, not too time consuming for you all, but, um, I think we'll, we'll manage, we'll manage. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just leave it here. I'm not going to actually um, sew the signatures yet and kind of do the, the binding yet. Um, I will leave that for uh, the last week when we do the binding. 
because uh, I, I, like I said, I like to have the freedom to move pages around. Um, and, and once you, once you sew, you know, do the sewing, stitching, uh, you're pretty much committed. So I'm just going to leave that until the very last step. And uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun too. Stay tuned for that. But thank you again so much for joining us. Thank you for supporting us. Please be sure to subscribe and like and comment on all of the collaborators' videos this week and all month. And uh, be sure to grow, grab your freebies and all of that details uh, and information will be, will be below the, the video. And I thank you again so very much and happy crafting, you guys. Bye-bye.